सो हाई डियर सेजिटेरियस अ वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू यू गाइज दिस इज अंजलि टैरो एंड दिस इज अ जर्नल रीडिंग फॉर ऑल द सेजी सन मून मीनस प्राइजिंग कीप इन माइंड दिस इज जर्नल इट माइट और माइट नॉट रेजोनेट विद यूर द फर्स्ट प्लेस द सेकेंड थिंग दिस इज अ रीडिंग फ्रॉम फिफ्टीन टिल द थर्टी एट ऑफ अप्रैल थर्टी एथ ऑफ अप्रैल यस एंड थर्ड थिंग दिस इज नॉट अ लव रीडिंग बट बट एवर विल कम आई विल जस्ट लेट यू गाइज नो सो सैजी इज लेट सी ओवरऑल एनर्जी फॉर सेजिटेरियस पीपल फॉर दिस फिफ्टीन डेज लेट सी वट इज हैपनिंग Three of Swords. Okay, healing your heart, healing your heart, and keeping yourself uh, keep, keeping yourself happy is going to be the overall focus area of your life this month, this fifteen days. Healing yourself. Okay, you are feeling sad and depressed from a very long time, and now you are going to be in this energy of fuck this sadness. I have to heal it and I have to let it go. So you will be working on that factor of your life. Okay, in the recent past, let's see, we had the Ace of Swords. Okay, you got some kind of clarity. You got some kind of clarity or truth about a particular situation, and you choose to, you know, be very clear and honest with yourself and with the other situation or other people involved in the situation. That's really brilliant. Now, in the current situation, let's see what is happening. You are in your current energies. Four of Pentacles. You are not able to let go of something or someone here. You are trying your best to keep something as close to your heart as you can because you are in this energy of I will never let this go. The, it could be a person, it could be a situation, it could be a memory, it could be something that you are used to from a very long time. You are not able to release something or not able to let go of something or someone here. Not letting it go. Okay. Let's see by the end of April what we have, Sagis, for people for Sagittarius. we got the knight of wands taking some kind of decision uh, taking some kind of action taking some kind of action and uh, taking some kind of passionate action towards something or someone okay finally taking an action okay now let's clarify these cards one by one three of swords let's clarify the three of swords as overall energy for you people for these 15 days we got the 6 of wands the 8 of cups and the page of wands yeah you will be successful and victorious in walking away from something or someone that's uh, causing you a lot of uh, pain from a very very long time you will be able to start a new chapter of your life with the uh, this energy of a kid with this energy of a, okay let me explore new thing new people new situations finally i am free finally you will be free out of this painful kind of energy in your life because you will be focused on your job money career on yourself and finally you will be able to let go of some some kind of painful energies that you are carrying with yourself from a very long time that's a very good news now in the recent past we had the ace of swords you got a lot of tr truth and clarity and honesty about a particular situation in your life let's clarify the ace of swords we got the fool the hermit and the high priestess yes see you took the leap of faith with the universe because you got the truth and clarity about a particular situation in your life and you were like okay brutally honest with yourself you were like okay no matter what this time i'm going to be brutally brutally honest with myself i'm going to take the leap of faith uh, with the universe and uh, i'm going to be as silent and as intuitive and as close to uh, myself as i can and i'm going to lead my life uh, with a direction with a clear cut direction with a clear cut path okay you took uh, help of uh, healing in some cases you took help of a healer or spiritual guru or a teacher or somebody who you know who guided you and you took the leap of leap of faith with the universe with total and utter honesty and truthfulness now in the current situation we are seeing that you are not able to let go of something or someone here that you should because you are in this energy of nope i cannot live without this situation or i cannot live without this person or i am so used to this kind of situation in my life i cannot just let it go so something that you need to release you are not able to release, release that let's clarify the six, uh, four of pentacles not letting it go why yeah four of pentacles is clarified by the four of pentacles the magician the world card okay the thing is the good news is that you are manifesting you are manifesting uh, uh, an ending to something here that you are not able to let go of from let go from a very long time you are in this energy of manifesting a completion of a cycle to this situation and finally trying to let go at least you are trying to let go of something and you are in this energy of universe please give me this courage 
give me this energy to let go of this painful situation or painful person or memory or triggers that I am having uh, from time to time. Okay, slowly but surely you will be able to release this painful kind of energy and slowly but surely you will be able to let go of something that's, that you are not able to let go of. It could be an addiction, it could be a person, it could be a memory, it could be anything that you are so much used to that you are not able to let it go because it feels so uncomfortable. But you are manifesting a completion of a cycle and ending to that painful cycle and finally letting it go slowly but surely. Okay. Because I do see by the end of this uh, month you will be in this energy of taking your power back. Taking your uh, like life's power back from some, some circumstances, from some people and being in this energy of being enthusiastic, being active and being, you know, um, all about yourself again because this is your energy only, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's clarify the Knight of Wands, taking some kind of action to make yourself happy. Let's clarify this. <clears throat> We have the star, the page of swords, two of pentacles. Yeah. So you will be on this healing journey in your life and you will be gathering a lot of knowledge about spirituality, about healing, about uh, connecting to the divine. And you will be having, you know, you will be going on this energy of back and forth, uh, back and forth, back and forth about a particular uh, healing modality or about a particular skill or about a particular, uh, you can say, uh, what, what should I say, course or in some cases a person also. You will be in this energy of letting go of a particular person or situation out of your life. Most probably you will be able to do that 90% of the time. But 10% of the time still you will be on this energy of, you know, taking, you know, uh, taking a charge of the situation from a distance. Like, okay, what they are up to, what they are doing right now, how they are doing. Not sulking over it, not crying over it, but going back and forth about it. Let me, let me just check what they are up to, how they are doing and all this shit. But you are going to take most of the charge back of your life. Uh, most of the charge. Yeah. You are going to take the power. <laughs> actually. You are going to take the power back from the power, like outer circumstances or from other people or from people that you were not able to let go of. And heal yourself a lot. And learning a lot about healing modalities. Healing yourself. Connecting with the divine spirituality and all this. And wandering here and there. In a very beautiful manner, I'm saying this, that you will be exploring new people, new situation, new thing, adventures, but again, going back and forth for a little bit to the past person or to past situation, just to check on that. That's it. Nothing else. So it's, it's fine. We are humans and we all do that. It's fine. Let's see what is the guidance for you, Sajis, for this situation. We have the Ace of Wands, the Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups. <laughs> the moment you will be able to let go of something or someone 100% out of your life, the moment universe is going to bless you with something really, really beautiful. And this time, do not do anything in hurry or do not do anything just based on attraction or do not do anything just because you are feeling overwhelmed with your uh, past situation or past connections or past relationships or feeling lonely or sad or something like this. New opportunities are going to knock at your door. And the universe is going to test you again, whether this time you are choosing it wisely or you are doing the same shit again as you did in the past. So do not repeat the same mistake again. Even if new opportunities are coming at your door, you have to listen to your intuition. You have to be patient. You have to be in this energy of, okay, um, let's uh, uh, take things really very, very slow. Let's be friends only and uh, connect with new people, new energies, have multiple choices around you. And I think at least for next two months, you should not be in any kind of relationship. Rather, you should connect with people and, uh, you know, go ahead slowly but surely. And this time, do not fall just for attraction or do not fall uh, for anybody just because you are feeling sad or lonely or depressed or that kind of energy. Never connect with somebody or never be in a relationship with someone just because you are feeling lonely or sad or depressed. Because you might end up regret uh, like... Uh, attracting the same kind of energy even if they're like well, physically they're very attractive or by nature they are like making you feel very beautiful and all this shit but from inside might that person is also feeling the same energies that is why you're attracting them so i told you the solution okay so thank you so much for tuning in sajis i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste